y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in January. <laughs> I ended up downloading 16 books, most of them for free. Again, I'm just going to be reading these summaries for these and if you want to check them out, go check them out. I'm gonna get started because there are a lot of these books. <laughs> First book that I have is Praying for Rain, the Train Trilogy, book number one by B.B. Easton. This book is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for 99 cents at the time I bought it for free. With only three days until the predicted apocalypse, the small town of Franklin Springs, Georgia has become a wasteland of abandoned cars, abandoned homes, abandoned businesses, and abandoned people people like Rainbow Williams. Rain isn't afraid of dying. In fact, she's looking forward to it. If she can just outrun her pain until April 23rd, she'll never have to feel it at all. Wes Parker has survived every horrible thing this life has thrown him with nothing more than his resourcefulness and disarming good looks. Why should the end of the world be any different? All he needs are some basic supplies, shelter, and a sucker willing to help him out, which is exactly what he finds when he returns to his hometown of Franklin Springs. As society crumbles, dangers mount, and secrets refuse to stay buried, two lost souls are thrust together in a twist of fate, one who will do anything to survive and one who can't wait to die, perhaps together they can learn how to live. Next we have Born Darkly by Trisha Wolf. I downloaded this through Kindle Unlimited for the Smetathon, but I didn't read it, but I still have it in my library. He challenged her sanity. She shattered his reality. They dared each other to the brink of madness. A dark and twisted maze awaits criminal psychologist London Noble when she falls for her patient, convicted serial killer Grayson Pierce Sullivan. As she unravels the traps, her sanity tested with each game, she's forced to acknowledge the true evil in the world around her. It says there's a trigger warning for confined spaces and serial killers. <laughs> the next book is another book that I downloaded through Kindle Unlimited for this month I found but I ended up not reading it at the time. We have IRL or In Real Life by Molly Maddox and Lucy Lennox. Connor. It starts with a drunken text pick. The kind I would normally never send, only instead of it going to the flirty hotel bartender, it goes to some random stranger who actually responds. I tell myself an unpredicted night of hot as hell back and forth is the perfect way to blow off a little steam while I'm in New York, closing an important business deal. Little do I know, the man at the other end of the line is none other than Wells Grange, the most controlling, egotistical, emotionless SOB I've ever met. I spend my days squaring off against Wells in the boardroom, and my nights succumbing to the sexy stranger's commanding texts in the bedroom. Within days, I'm falling for someone I shouldn't, and I have to remind myself that none of this is real. Wells. The first thing I notice about Connor Noel when he sits down in my high-rise conference room is how delightfully nervous he is. Then I see his tie, the same geeky tie that's held hostage on my phone and the one that belongs to my anonymous late night texter and it changes everything. I should confess, tell the truth about who I am. Instead, I decide there's no harm in flirting. After all, once our business is concluded, he'll be out of my life for good. The more I get to know Connor, however, the more I start to fall for him is a problem because I made a vow long ago to never let emotions interfere with my life, either business or personal, except I can't stop thinking about him night and day. If it's only in my head though, it doesn't count. After all, it's not like we're falling for each other in real life. Next we have Learn My Lesson, Wicked Villains Book 2 by Katie Robert. I ended up purchasing this ebook for $4.99 for the Smetathon and I ended up reading this book. If you want to know my thoughts on it, please go check out my January wrap up. A single night with Megara and I'm willing to do anything to save her from Hades, the man holding her captive, victim to his every whim. A bargain with the devil himself seems a small price to pay in order for Megara to go free. Until I learn she's exactly where she wants to be. She's queen to Hades king and I'm the fool that walked right into their trap. The same fool who desires them both as much as I hate them. I can't resist Megara's touch or stop from being drawn to Hades dark desires. By the time I realize how deep a game he's playing, it may be too late for all of us. Next we have Blocked by Elise Faber, book one in the Golden Hockey series. I got this one for free and it is still currently free on Amazon. This is her shot. Britt has the chance to make history by being the first female goalie to play for the NHL team, the San Francisco Gold. So when she is introduced to Stefan, the Gold's captain, she is determinedly not interested. Stefan is sexy, charming, and has a publicly documented list of conquests a mile long, but Brit is unwilling to risk mixing business with pleasure 
even when that business is wrapped up in a six foot plus gorgeously muscled package. When management pushes Britt and Stefan together in an effort to gain good press for a beleaguered team, Britt finds that her carefully calculated disinterest doesn't mask her body's desires. The more she falls for Stefan, the more she risks her career. Will she be able to have it all, a starting position, and the heart of the captain? Or will she lose everything? Okay, we're gonna pause the video for a second and draw from my subscriber shout out mug. Um, I'm gonna shout out someone today, shake it up, and then I will draw this one. Let's see here. Oh, we have Zoe Reads. Can't really see that. Everyone in this mug are people that I love to watch. They don't necessarily know me. I don't think Zoe knows me whatsoever. Um, but Zoe is just like, I love her aesthetic. I really love her personality. I just love her as a person. Recently, she has been reading books that uh, deal with more curvy or plus size women. And being a more curvy woman myself, um, I really love getting those recommendations from her. Overall, like a great person to watch. Um, I love her recommendations. I just love her personality. I love her, as I've already said before. So um, I totally recommend Zoe, and uh, her channel will be linked down below for y'all to check out. Okay, back to the ebooks. Uh, the next book that I have is Midnight Marriage, a Georgian historical romance by Lucinda Brandt. This is the first book in the Braxton family saga. I got it for free, and it is still currently free. Inspired by real events, a secretly arranged marriage establishes a dynasty. After years in exile, Julian returns to claim a bride he doesn't know. To his delight, he discovers she's everything he's hoped for. Unaware they are already married, Deb is content with her independent life. Julian's challenge is to have her accept him on his merit, even though she has no choice at all. The future of the Ruxton dukedom depends upon it. Next, we have another book that I downloaded for free at the time, which is Boss Me Dirty, an Office Romance by Parker Gray. Uh, this is not free anymore. You can either get it off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. I'm obsessed with my secretary. The way she walks, the way she looks at me, the way she says my name, especially when she says yes. Yes, Mr. Declan. I'm not just her boss. I'm the owner of the entire firm. And she's just barely out of college, out of her first job. Sweet and experienced innocent. I don't want to scare Sloane. I want to own her, possess her, dominate her body and soul in every way I know how. Come hell or high water, I won't stop until she's mine. I've got a crush on my boss. I shouldn't, I know. I should find someone my own age to date, but I can't stop thinking about my dominant, commanding boss. Every time I walk into his office, my knees turn to jelly. I could get fired for this, but there's something in the way he looks at me. Something in the way he speaks to me. Something about him that makes me want to beg him for more. Next we have a book that I downloaded for free. We have Work in Progress, A Marriage of Convenience Romantic Comedy by Stacey Hart. I've never read any Stacey Hart books before, but this one was free, so I decided to download it. Um, this is book number three in the Red Lipstick Coalition series. I downloaded this for free at the time, but it's not free anymore. You could either purchase it for $3.99 on Kindle or it is on Kindle Unlimited. I never thought my first kiss would be on my wedding day, but here I stand clutching a bouquet of pale pink roses behind the doors of a Las Vegas chapel, and at the end of the aisle is the absolute last man I imagined would be waiting for me. Thomas Bain, best-selling author, notorious bad boy, savagely handsome, dark as sin, chiseled as stone, and somehow my soon-to-be husband. Marry him and I'll land my dream job. Save him and I'll walk away with everything I've ever wanted. All I have to do is remember it's all for show. None of it is real, no matter how it feels. But first I have to survive the kiss and with lips like his, I don't stand a chance. Next we have another book that I downloaded for free at the time. It's not free anymore. You could either purchase it for $4.99 or get it off Kindle Unlimited. That is Aces High, an angsty second chance motorcycle romance by M. Never. This is a part of the Bomb Squad Motorcycle Club series. 10 years ago, all Liv Ward wanted was my love. What she got was a broken heart instead. When the Bowman's death causes my world to come crashing down, the only silver lining is it brings Liv, his daughter, back to my life. The last thing the sharp, angsty brunette wants is anything to do with me, but time apart and grief do strange things to people, bringing them together in unexpected ways. With my options running out, I find myself in a cutthroat race against time, fighting for the woman I want back, all while trying to figure out how to stay alive. Now, 
I have two weeks left to live. Two weeks to come up with $100,000. Two weeks to convince the woman I love she loves me too. Next we have To Love a Prince by Elizabeth Drake. This is the first book in the Knights of Valor series. I got this for free at the time, but it's not free anymore. You could either purchase it for $4.99 or get it off of Kindle Unlimited. Hunted by a tragedy he couldn't prevent and hounded by a duty he never wanted. Crown Prince Eli of Tamarin is a cold shell of a man with a stone for heart. But whether his subjects like it or not, he will soon be their king. All he needs to do is ascend the throne of the dragon god's blessing and the approval of the dragon church. There's one small problem. The god is silent and the church wants him dead. Well, there is one other problem. A slightly confusing matter of how he somehow acquired a slave girl who will do anything to win her freedom. A slave girl who has no intention of falling in love no matter how beautiful, kind, or intelligent she is. When Eli uncovers a plot to seize the throne driven by a forbidden cult of dark worship, he must protect a church that hates him and a god he thinks has forsaken him. Duty runs headlong into the newly awakened needs of his heart, and with treachery before him and an enslavement behind, no choice is good. Old secrets reveal new lies, and betrayal will bring a man, a crown, and a kingdom to the very brink of war. Next, we have Addicted to You by Krista Ritchie. This is the first book in the Addicted series. It is still currently free on Amazon if you want this book. No one would suspect shy Lily Calloway's biggest secret. While everyone is dancing at college bars, Lily stays in the bedroom to get laid. Her compulsion leads her to one night stands, steamy hookups, and events she shamefully regrets. The only person she knows her secret happens to have one of his own. Lauren Hale's best friend is his bottle of bourbon. Lily comes to a close second. For three years, they have pretended to be in a relationship, hiding their addictions from their families. They've mastered the art of concealing flasks and random guys that filter in and out of their apartment. But as they sink beneath the weight of their addictions, they cling harder to their destructive relationship and wonder if a life together for real is better than a lie. Strangers and family begin to infiltrate their guarded lives and with new challenges, they realize that they may not just be addicted to alcohol and sex. Their real vice may be each other. Next we have Demon Mind by Marina Simcoe the first book in the Demons series. This was free at the time, but now you can either purchase it for $2.99 or get it off of Kindle Unlimited. They are big, strong, and silent. Their faces are hidden behind masks and their bodies are enclosed in armor suits. They took me from my home in the middle of the night and have been holding me in isolation for months. I don't fully understand the purpose of my captivity. No one explains anything to me. No one even talks to me. Nearly driven to madness with no more hope of freedom, I no longer care if I live or die. Then he speaks to me. Just a few words. He throws me a lifeline and helps me find my way back to sanity. He becomes my only companion, my light in the darkness. I suspect he may not be entirely human. What's worse is that he may be one of them. Next we have another Stacey Hart book. We have Wasted Words, The Austins, book number one. This is currently free on Amazon. If you want to, check it out. Peanut butter and jelly are a match made in heaven. Spaghetti and meatballs are best friends forever. And the guys like Tyler Knight don't go for girls like Cameron Emerson. She knows him from the second she met him that he didn't belong on her bookshelf. The six foot X tight end with a face so all-American it could have sold apple pie, so she shelved him next to the supermodels and rock stars and took her place on her own shelf, the one with flannel lad, pasty faced comic book nerds. Most of her boyfriends have existed between the pages of books, but rather than worrying over her own lack of love life, she puts all her energy into playing Cupid, using her job at the bookstore, Wasted Words, as her stomping ground. Tyler Knight always looks on the bright side. His career ending injury turned him into a job as a sports agent. A horrible breakup led him to Cam, his quirky, smart roommate who is far more beautiful than she realizes. She's made it perfectly clear she's not interested in him, but if she ever changes her mind, he won't hesitate because he doesn't see the lines she's drawn between them as much as she insists that they're there. Deep down, he knows that despite their differences, they're a match well made. Next, we have a book that I read in January. We have Hearts in Darkness by Laura Kay. This book is also on Audible Escape, so I listened to it on Audible Escape, but this was free and is still currently free on Amazon, so I decided to get an ebook copy as well. When accountant McKenna James finds herself stranded in a pitch black elevator, she can't help but wonder about the stranger stuck with her. All she noticed about him before when lights went off 
with a dragon tattoo, all she knows about his sexy gruff voice in the darkness. Caden Grayson is inked, pierced, scarred on the inside and out, and terrified of the dark for reasons he'd rather not remember. Trapped in his worst nightmare, only the sweet voice of the red-headed beauty distracts him from his fear. As for the hours pass and the darkness heats up, there's nothing compared to her touch. He's all rough edges and she's pinstripe skirts, but in the darkness, they open up and reach out without any preconceptions to hold them back. But as attractions grow and sparks fly, will they feel the same when the lights come back on? Next, we have Him by Serena Bowen. This was a Kendall Unlimited borrow purchase. Jamie Canning has never been able to figure out how he lost his best friend. Four years ago, his tattooed wisecrack rule-breaking roommate cut him out without an explanation. So what if he, things got a little weird on the last night of a hockey camp the summer they were 18? It was just a little drunk and foolishness. Ryan Wesley's biggest regret is coaxing his very straight friend into a bet that pushed the boundaries of their relationship. Now with their college teams set to face off at the national championship, he'll finally get a chance to apologize. But all it takes is one look at his long time crush and the ache is stronger than ever. Jamie has waited a long time for answers, but walks away with only more questions. Can one night of sex ruin a friendship? If not, how about six more weeks of it? When Wesley turns up to coach alongside Jamie for one more hot summer at camp, Jamie has a few things to discover about his old friend and a big one to learn about himself. And the last book I'm going to talk about today is The Dragon's Pet by Loki Reynard. I borrowed this off of Kendall Unlimited. When her plane goes down near the front line of an ongoing war between humans and dragons, Arya comes face to face with one of the enemy. And then the terrible beast transforms before her into a huge, devastatingly handsome man. Taking captive and brought back to the dragon's lair, she quickly discovers that he intends to keep her, not only as his prisoner, but his pet. Her captor wastes no time in stripping her bare, placing a collar around her neck and putting her shamelessly on display. After she learns about the truth of the cause of the war, Arya is forced to question everything she was taught and soon her former enemy has claimed her heart. But when need arises, will she do what she must to protect the one she loves, even if it means being branded a traitor to her own kind. So there you have it. Those are all of the eBooks that I downloaded in the month of January. Please let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye.